good good afternoon good morning good evening for all of folks who have joined from various places um, so i'm pratik the co-founder uh, of a company called automaxis and i'm here to talk about our product called fdp connect and using xdc chain uh, the the token called fdp that we have minted and the utility and the use case of it so i'm stand starting with the presentation uh, just to give a brief what exactly we do and what are we trying to do with our offerings so so building a product called fdp connect which caters to the needs of the cross border trading companies which are into exports and imports various complexities various aspects of transactions that they are carrying out with respect to freight with respect to documents and with respect to payments the world of international trade is very complex and we simply want to digitize this and and provide a single uh, single solution or single value offering to them so uh, a core team uh, uh, along with a right advisor uh, on a global mission to ease the cross border trade uh, we've been awarded and got multiple recognitions uh, where uh, the notable ones to mention here is uh, the ulip which is a national logistics policies initiative we've got a recognition from the minister of commerce himself uh, by winning a competition in a category of unified documentation and digital transformation we've even got a recognition from central warehouse corporation where we have proposed a 100% paperless imports and exports icd focused operation to be digitized where uh, i'll come on the later part what was it that the blockchain was used and what was it that was it was really appreciated uh, we are proud uh, uh, to be a part of the xdc ecosystem uh, that the the kind of exposure that we get especially with respect to the the trade finance and the international trade context is really immense so simply put an exporter exporting from india who is headquartered in hyderabad where we are also situated uh, let's say he is exporting red sander wood to 27 nations uh, the problem of this exporter from hyderabad in india is to make this document available to the right person at right point of time and globally this is so huge problem that at any given moment there are 4 billion pieces of paper that are floating across the globe which sums up to half a million trees been cut for this purpose just to give you some more context how complex or why is it so complex is all because of a fact that there are multiple stakeholders that are involved and doing all these activities by an exporter or someone has on his behalf is a very cumbersome process all the stakeholders which are which are not talking to each other there is no interoperability between all of them so what does fdp connect does it simply brings in an interoperability and the ledger distribution happens at a click of a button an invoice and a packing list are two important document or what what we call it as a pillar document basis on which all the other documents are generated be it a certificate of origin which gets issued by the chambers of commerce be the bills of lading a very important document that plays a very crucial role in the in a field of a trade finance getting carried out because it has got a title value to it and it's as good as you know you are having a tokenized version of it where the ownership transfer gets done on an xdc network uh, the the true sense of a 100% paperless trade is trade is what comes out when you are truly digitizing a bills of lading including other documents which are issued by different stakeholders as you are seeing on the screen but we don't just intend to digitize the documents which are issued by the various stakeholders we even intend to automate or make a a single suit offering or a single stop shop for an exporting company where the other formalities specific to the geography that they are operating from so be it a e seal filing uh, uh, an e-seal association or a waybill generation or a bank realization certificate various complexities that an exporting or an importing company needs to follow is what gets a cakewalk for them the mckinsey report says that it takes roughly around 
16 hours 40 minutes to complete one documentation cycle with our promising solution which is web3 and ai powered can be completed in as less as 10 minutes safe and secure and can be accessed from any part of the world uh that's just a brief but and there are a lot many exciting things happening not just in india but across the globe uh, my slides uh, which are upcoming are all talking about this the dcs a digital container shipping association almost all the major shipping lines which move then which move more than 80 percent of the global goods in a containerized uh, 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 cargo have promised to go 100 percent ebl bl is a uh, abbreviation for bills of lading by 2030 so in in a near future of say four and a half or four years or so you'll be seeing a world where 100 percent of the bl will be digitized there are good activities taking shape in india as well a bills of lading bill has been cleared and it has turned into an act recently in india and this is a global story with respect to an mletr adoption the model law of electronic transferable record which lets the country adopt even the crucial or the title document like a bills of lading to be digitized or or handled in an electronic transferable form so it's all a right momentum that is building up where we are out with the solution at a right place with the right right chain uh, we aspire to get an igpni license which will allow us to uh, digitize this cross border trade documents as a go to market approach we shake hands with the custom brokers uh, conduct training and awareness for the exporting companies and uh, create an ecosystem which brings in a network effect we have recently minted around 1 billion tokens uh, uh, called FDP on the XDC chain and uh, we have various use cases for that I am now jumping directly to And, and now jumping to the solution uh, to explain you the flow at what place and how are we yeah yeah Pratik. Uh, so before that i think um, we have one question from freya so has automaxis done ebl already uh, uh no we haven't done the the transferable or the original uh, or you call it as a master bl digitization yet uh, but we are moving in the right direction you need to get the igpni license we are in close talk with two igpni approved vendors or, or IG, igpni approved parties in order to get the bl digitized so very soon you'll get to hear a bl getting digitized on our network okay great uh, i don't see any other questions uh, with the intro of auto access so yeah please go ahead with the presentation yeah so now yeah now coming to the part of a very important role being played by a framework called trade trust uh, this has been listed on xdc dev as well you can read more about it but just to give you a brief inside the fdp ecosystem we have trade trust uh, already uh, uh, you know included inside the solution whenever the transactions happens there are only two type of documents one is a verifiable document and the transferable document talking about the verifiable documents uh, or even in case of a transferable documents which includes a document such as letter of credit or a bills of lading majorly uh, trade trust is a right fit and xdc already being a, a network provider uh, we are uh, we are we are starting with the issuance of the documents we already into a business of touching lot many certificate of origins we work with closely lot, closely with lot many chambers of commerce here in india uh, to explain your flow an exporter makes use of fdp connect when he signs up he creates an export document and when he is ready to share the document when he is digitally signing these documents this is where the trade trust ecosystem comes into play he, what happens is if the sh at the time of sharing to happen there is a wrapping that needs to be done where before a wrapping there's a document store id that gets created when a wrapping happens at that point we're working uh, at a point where the lei embedded digital signatures can be utilized we're working on the x509 standards where this digital signatures having those lei properties can be utilized 
in order to have a legally accepted digital version of the trade documents and then make the sharing happens and where uh, when 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 the wrapping happens is where the allocation of the token is done is being allocated to those trade documents and then ready to be sh shared to the external world so the importer sitting in any part of the world will be given an option to verify this where this verification call happens uh, on a trade trust network or uh, and uh, transferable ones as i said that the bl1 is something that we are working on you'll get to hear very soon about it uh, now i'm taking you to a live demo that we have already done and uh, what are we going to be doing about the certificate of origin this is the application which is uh, we call it as a document set where all the list of export specific documents have been have been archived at one place we give various options of a templates getting defined by an, by, by a user and uh, any any uh, submission that they wish to do for the sake of all these documents which are archived at one place and the moment these documents are gathered at one specific folder or one specific place we are then giving an option to share it via trade trust so if i am selecting let's say a certificate of origin which have been generated using using fdp connect there's an option of share via trade trust so once this button is clicked by the user these are just a simple four steps which needs to be completed by the user and i'll be playing a demo of the same I'm sorry, since we are in my test account, we can't provide any live shipments data, but we are and so uh, on the main net we'll very soon be seeing around uh, three thousand to four thousand live shipments hitting uh, the mainnet transactions, and uh, these will be the, I mean, the live shipments which origin originates here in India. <laughs> 